Okay, block seven, the greatest generation, section three, war without the United States, the section beginning the convoy system and the undeclared naval war. What we have up here is a picture of a German U-boat. This is a German submarine of the World War II era. Um, it runs on diesel power. It can um, travel underwater at about five to 10 miles an hour. It can stay underwater for many, many hours at a time. And this was the vessel that almost strangled Great Britain to death uh, in 1941. Um, a way around, or it's very difficult to defend against a submarine. One way that it was done was through what's known as the convoy system. And what you see here is a picture of a convoy. A convoy is instead of sending ships one at a time across the ocean, what you do is you gather 30 ships together at once, surround them with a rig, so 30 merchant ships, 30 cargo ships, 30 fuel tankers, and you put them in rows. And then around them, you put a number of destroyers, a cruiser, as time goes on, maybe an aircraft carrier. And this whole group, known as a convoy, ships itself all together across the ocean as a group. The idea being that the naval ships can obviously protect the cargo ships in the middle. And if anything terrible does happen, the ships can scatter um, and not all of them will be sunk. This is the system that the United States, uh, that, that Great Britain tried to do with its uh, ships heading across the Atlantic Ocean. But the problem is they still, even with the 50 new destroyers, they still don't have enough naval firepower and ships um, to do this on their own. So Roosevelt and Churchill uh, work out a little bit of a deal here. And what the deal was that America, that convoys heading to England from North America, so from either the British Dominion of Canada or from the United States, would be escorted by American destroyers up to Iceland. And then from Iceland, British destroyers would take over for the last and most dangerous leg into Great Britain itself. This is an obvious act of war by the United States. You cannot have your Navy escort enemy merchant ships across half the ocean and be a neutral country. You're not a neutral country. Uh, this is an act of war against Germany. And while the Germans do not want to declare war on the United States, they are simply, they cannot afford to let the ships get two-thirds of the way across the ocean without trying to sink them. So what happens is the United States and Germany start, start shooting at each other, uh, that you have an undeclared naval war. Um, several American ships were sunk. Several German submarines uh, were destroyed by American naval forces. Um, Congress then allowed American merchant ships to arm themselves against submarines. So by the, the fall of 1941, although the United States is still technically neutral, its navy is escorting armed merchant ships uh, across the ocean, fighting the German navy all the way across. Um, the first American casualties of World War II do not happen at Pearl Harbor. They happen out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But again, Notice, there's no huge uprising from the American people. Roosevelt sees this. The American people are getting closer and closer to a willingness to actually declare war and fight against Hitler. Uh, 